Hi, good morning. This is your shiny from Fascino Dresses. This video is completely going to be in English because I received a lot of comments, uh, people saying that it needs to be in English because a lot of them could not uh, understand Tamil. So I thought I will do this uh, full video, complete video in English. The video that you see today is all that we shoot the dresses once it is all completed and then we uh, do the reels and then uh, upload the shots and videos in YouTube. So you can see varieties of designs going out from a studio and this is all our dispatched orders. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you how a client approaches us, how we respond, how they come to us for taking an order and how we confirm their order and what are the steps that we uh, take to uh, uh, process their order and until we dispatch it, I'm going to just guide you how it can be done smoothly, how it is being done in our uh, uh, studio or a brand. Uh, many of you don't know that this is completely an online boutique only. So Fasino dresses, we do it only online. There is no physical store. So we completely work only online. We do it internationally. Everything will be done online over the call and WhatsApp messages and Instagram messages. We do have our unit and office at a race course, Coimbatore, but then uh, Everything else is done via online, including the measurements. Everything will be uh, taken care of in online only. So we do meet a few of the bridals. Uh, they uh, directly visit to our Coimbatore office to give measurements. But otherwise, every other order, we do it only online. The very first step is that the clients message us through Instagram. Mostly we get uh, a lot of messages through Instagram and WhatsApp. So this is the very first step asking for price. We again in return ask the clients for the baby age or the size that they need. Size is for the adults and the baby age if it is a kid. Because since this is all customized orders, we need to know the baby age. Because there is nothing readily available with us, we always make on orders only. So as in an order gets confirmed, we start making the dress new and fresh for that particular client and we don't keep anything readily available with us or we don't have any stock. I would say that we have zero stock at office. This can help you uh, not uh, wasting any dresses, your efforts because you know I, uh, I actually planned this online boutique mainly because the showrooms especially they keep a lot of dresses there and I'm 100% sure that not everything is going to get sold out right. Not everybody will like all the designs we do and uh, keep it in our showroom. So we follow this online completely because we don't want to put our effort and make dresses and then that lie in a corner for months and after a few months it, it just go a waste. So we don't believe in that at all. So we always keep the stock empty. This is definitely gonna save your time. Trust me, this is one thing we very, very, very sincerely follow since the time we started. So after we ask the client the age, once the client replies us with the age, then we tell the price according to the age and size they require. And then if they want to place the order, we ask them to come to WhatsApp and uh, WhatsApp is where the platform that we confirm the orders. We don't confirm any orders in Instagram because we do have a lot of fake accounts at times. So we ask people to WhatsApp us the same uh, screenshot that they uh, uh, did with us in Instagram. And once they send us the message in WhatsApp, we then start processing the steps. So here's the next step. They uh, WhatsApp us that they wanted to confirm an order. They send us the picture and the baby age. 
we soon asked them this question that if you wanted to go ahead with the same color and the design or you need any customization in that you need any color changes you need any sleeve changes you need any different patterns to be implemented the reason why we ask these questions to the client is that not everybody know that there are customizations happening and most of the clients do not know what customization is they think that what we display is the same that they can get for we make sure we give them an idea we give them the comfort that we can make anything that they want that we can uh, do color changes or we can do any sleeve changes or any pattern changes according to their requirement for the cost This is one thing that can make the client happy and comfortable with us because just by not providing the price details you also go one step ahead to make the client comfortable by asking them if they are okay with us or they want anything uh, extra or any other color that they prefer Most of the times we get to uh, hear from the client saying that oh really you can change the color wow So that is when we make the client happy and the first step to make the client abide with us be comfort with us be happy with us So few clients already choose what is available in the page because that would be very apt for their theme decided for the birthday so they will say that oh, no let me go ahead with the same but just for my baby's measurement 50% of the clients ask for color changes and they ask that they need the sleeve from a different pattern uh, from a different design they need the neck design from another design they need the bottom design from another design they need extra pearls they need extra stone work they need a bow at the back they need a flower in the front so etc etc these are the type of customizations so they wanted a lot of changes in the same dress We always welcome the client new ideas and we also once they confirm their order give our uh, suggestions and ideas to embellish the dress more beautifully to make the dress more prettier than how it was So once they confirm their order we send them the order details and once the client confirm their order we start processing it so not all the clients can imagine what we visualize right they wanted a design they wanted something different from what we have designed for example but they do not know how the output is going to be so first thing that we can assure them is giving them a sketch this being on a very professional side we give them the sketch to know how the dress will look to uh, make them you know give them an idea or uh, visualize how their uh, daughter's dress or son's dress is going to look or how their dress is going to look this will create a very good bonding between you and the clients A few clients they say that they don't need the sketch because they will understand clearly what customization we are giving them so what ideas we're giving them and what output we explain giving them the sketch will give a very clear idea they can imagine they can visualize how the output is going to be a sketch need not be exactly uh, the same need not have to be exactly the same it is just a very rough sketching that you're giving the clients assuring that this is going to be the output and clearly make sure you make it a point to the client that it will not be exactly as it is in the sketch because it's just a sketch right we cannot bring 100% into a sketch i mean we can bring but then we are giving a rough sketch to the client just to understand how the output is going to be so you need not put your 100% effort into sketch and waste all your time giving all the details um, in everything you can just go through our videos where we have put a lot of shots regarding how the sketch we give and what output we give the sketch is just 50% of what the final output we give so it's just to understand 
how it is going to be so that the client can visualize So once they see the sketch, a few clients say that I don't want this sleeve, you can change the sleeve or they make minor changes. Okay, So usually after the order is confirmed, we don't accept any changes because we clearly uh, discuss everything over the call, uh, what uh, customization they want, what changes they want. So few clients, you know, they keep changing and changing and changing as in uh, the order is confirmed. So we don't really accept changes and we make sure to inform the client that once the order is confirmed, we don't make any changes so that the client can think over it and give them uh, give you the uh, complete um, uh, order details before they confirm the order with you the reason why i am explaining in detail is that this is all creating the bond between you and the client the trust between you and the client and if you really want to grow and if you really want the client to come back to you Take this order very personally, this order meaning every order. And uh, one more thing is that do not add anything of your own without informing the client. This is one main point you will have to keep in your mind because we are working for clients they have made payment to us so give them what they want and do not give anything what you wish but uh, it is always good to ask the client if you feel something is really good you please put that to the client's uh, notice tell them that adding one flower here will definitely be good i'm very sure that none of the clients are uh, gonna say no for something uh, good add-ons that you're going to give to their uh, baby dress or son's dress right so daughter's dress or son's dress so anything that you're going to add additionally upon your wish please make sure you check with the client you can just ask them uh, you need not ask them the permission you can just inform them that can we add uh, one flower here for example i'm telling you can we add one flower on the shoulder this is going to make the dress look great and it it just adds a little beauty on the shoulder or a little detail on the shoulder you know 99 percent of the client says yes you can go ahead uh, shiny you can do whatever you want when i hear, hear that word you can do whatever you want Next time you can be a little free uh, to add whatever beauty or pretty things you wanted to add to that dress or whatever detail you wanted to add to that dress. Uh, you can inform the client, you know, if you ask me, it is better always to inform the client that you're going to do a little changes to what we have discussed or to what sketch we have given and make it a point that to tell them it only adds beauty to the dress. It is going to look prettier than what is shown in the sketch or whatever we've discussed. I'm 100% sure the clients are going to be happy and they become more comfortable to you a more bonding gets created between you and the client because you are doing the dress as if you're doing it for your own baby am I right? So we start making the dress and once the dress is done we don't send them the in progress pictures because the client you know all the clients keep asking us to send the in progress pictures but then we don't send them it's not possible because simultaneously many dresses go on in our studio right not we, we just don't work on one dress a day four to five dresses simultaneously go on so it is not possible for us to click and send updates to each and every client so we make sure and we also make this point to the client we inform the client that once the dress is done we will definitely send you the pictures before we dispatch them this is very important do not dispatch any dress i think i have told this in previous two or three of my videos do not dispatch the dress until and unless you show it to the client get their approval because they are paying us and we need to respect that we need to make sure that they are happy about the output at times there might be our miss uh, 
of anything that we discussed uh, during the call or during the sketch say you missed a flower on the shoulder you, when you show the output you know the client will tell you to add it on so it's always better because we also might go wrong right at times we won't i mean i won't but i'm you know at times i have missed uh, placing one flower or one pearl or whatever we discussed so there are chances for us to miss things that we discuss during the call or during the sketch so always make sure send the pictures to the client once it is done that makes the client very happy i'm 100 percent sure that 99 percent of the client are going to say wow beautiful because you're obviously making what we discuss so there is no chance for the client telling you uh no it's not nice no i didn't wanted this until and unless you give them a bad work but i'm 100 percent sure any designer because we love doing for our clients and we i know how the designers put so much efforts yeah so the dress is done you have sent it to the client and they're very happy you are also happy seeing the client you know every time it's my personal experience i'm sharing with you every time i send the client uh, pictures you know i close my eyes until they uh, type because a few clients they keep typing and typing and typing it's nothing but they're just sending us the good reviews and they are feel how they feel about uh, the design that we have given them you know so i would always close my eyes but then that nervousness inside me always kills i will always wait for the client to reply i will always wait for their superb and beautiful words to appreciate us our efforts this would mean everything to us uh, us meaning the entire designers uh, who i'm talking about obviously we're giving a work and the client is happy and they're giving us all appreciating words obviously we are so happy right once they are good to go we show them the designs pictures and then uh, finally we take it for a shoot a shoot is very very important it doesn't have to be under a very professional background or something make sure you have a very good uh, phone camera because the pictures that you are portraying in your page or website is all going to talk about our designs and our work so do not send any dresses or dispatch any dresses without shooting them never mind it is going to be a repetitive order of course we are doing a lot of repetitive orders but i make sure every order that we do we click pictures we make reels and we send the videos and uh, pictures to the clients because these days a lot of clients request us for pictures and videos to be added into their birthday albums for a memory as a part of the birthday memory so you have to stay uh, as uh, a part of your birthday memory so please make sure you click good pictures you click a short video it doesn't have to be long just a 10 seconds video edit it and put your watermark and give them So you take the dresses for shoot so what i am doing is that we shoot the dress we take good pictures at least 10 to 12 pictures where we filter three or four to post in our instagram and our facebook pages then we shoot nice videos we use only phone we don't use any digital camera or don't we don't have any you know uh, photography team or editing team it's all done by us myself and one or two from my team most of the time it's just me who click pictures who uh, take the video who edit the video who uh, upload the video on instagram so everything is done all by myself so it's always better you take the ownership you don't have to pay and hire a photography team just for this i would always suggest you to spend a, you know 5 to 10 minutes it's, it's hardly going to take 5 to 15 minutes that's it so you can do it all by yourself all the pictures that you see in our youtube instagram facebook are shot by us by me and the video are shot by our uh, team so editing is all done by myself the uploading is all done by myself
this is one very important point add your watermark before you post the pictures in your social media platforms be it instagram or facebook or youtube or wherever it is your watermark need to be there on the pictures and videos because that shows all your effort even though you upload the watermark you upload the pictures with watermark there are stupid cheap people to steal our pictures put their watermark and put it on their page they are very shameless you don't have to care about them also there are there is a group where they take our pictures they remove the watermark and they put it in the reselling group so all this happen all these scams happen i would have spoken about scam happening uh, how the scams are happening but never mind we cannot stop people we cannot stop dogs uh, barking right so just ignore the dogs and uh, you do you do what you do that's it you do this continuously you do this holistically you don't have to think that any which ways even after i upload the pictures with watermark they're going to steal take off the watermark why do you care just don't care upload the pictures with watermark always be professional to do these steps to follow these steps so upload the pictures with watermark and then send it to the client and once you dispatch the order please post it in your instagram facebook pages a reels it is running or not it is getting likes or not just don't care people these days are just for likes and views but don't care all you care about is do you have clients or not are you giving a 100% effort or not are you putting 100% hard work or not that is all matters instagram views facebook likes reel is running or not youtube shorts or videos running or not am i getting views all this never care okay because people who get a million views do not have clients at all what is the point in just getting the views and likes and don't have the clients As far as I've heard from a lot of my designer friends this one thing disturbs them a lot where they care about the views and my reel is not running this is all the worry they have even I had a point of time you know I used to be very upset that I am putting so much effort I'm always on Instagram I am doing so many things for the videos I'm sitting and editing for hours but I don't get likes I don't get views no 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 this is only creating a stress for you in your mind and not allowing you to go process on the next order just stop worrying that is when I made up my mind that I should not care about the views do not compare your page with other pages which you know at a point of time I also was worrying about no no I've stopped everything because at times everybody will go through this I'm also a human right whatever big brand we are and how how many of our clients we have everybody have to go through these small stresses so I uh, from a personal experience telling you do not compare your page with another page do not compare your work with other work let people grow let us also grow grow and let grow is something I sincerely follow these days so do not care about how the other reels are running or how other pages are running just give your work put your reels come out that's it you don't have to keep monitoring how the reel is running or not just all you care about is are the clients reaching out to you if the clients don't come think you will only have to sit and think why are clients not reaching you why are you not getting so many messages work on that part rather than worrying about the reels and views and likes and shares come on we cannot do anything out of the likes and shares and views right all you have to care about all you have to worry about is clients are clients coming to you are we making the clients happy are we delivering what we promised are we delivering for the money they paid us this is all you should care about okay so i hope this video helps you a lot kandippa next time tamil la na video podren ipo na sonna adhe vishayangal english la sonna the kandippa tamil la sikrama na video podren ungalku puriyala na i'm very sorry in the video main a vandu tamil language illada makkalukaga da I will definitely upload a bilingual or a Tamil video with the same subject very soon.
thank you so much for having the patience to listen to what i said this is all not a story or not a cooked up story or not boasting it is all from my personal experience and i want others especially the budding designers the new designers the people who have started small business everybody to grow so it's it's, it's simple grow and let others grow appreciate every small thing what others do I'm wishing all the designers to do a very good job get in touch with your clients have a very good bonding just don't treat them as just clients have a good bonding with them have a good relationship with them so that you know this helps the clients to come back to you later i have clients for the last 7 years i have designed for their baby's first birthday and uh, we are still designing for their seventh birthday it means that the client is coming back to you every year over and over and over because that's the bond between you and your client that's the relationship you have created between you and the client Thank you for watching my video. I will soon. I know I'm not uploading a lot of videos these days. I'm very busy, but this cannot be a reason at all when it comes to work. I will surely upload uh, more videos. forget to subscribe our channel do not forget to press the bell button so that you get notified as soon as we upload the videos keep watching our shorts keep watching our videos keep watching our posts do follow our page we have also started a new brand known as fasino vogue where it is for uh, ready made uh, clothes a beautiful ready to wear collection casual collection with anarkalis coords etc do check that out i have also uploaded a short regarding it the page name is fasino vogue in instagram we also have a website for you guys to purchase www.fascinovogue.com www.fascinovogue.com thank you guys for watching my video see you all soon with another uh, video with very important tips to grow thank you love you all